This episode has been brought to you by Flowstate, the unlimited web flow development service. Find out more at flowstate.dev. And now introducing Flowstate Go, a one-shot development consultation. Hello and welcome to another episode of Webflow and Code, where I teach you the underlying code you're writing in Webflow. If you're new around here, I've been discovering new no-code tools that are out there in the world, learning them, trying to find out what that, what's good about them, what's bad about them, in order to broaden my horizons and then in turn pass the information on to you so you're better informed and just have a bit of fun really discovering what else is out there. This week, I took a look at Toddle, which came about just through Twitter. I posted a video talking about the design process or the development process. I think this is great debate going on. The founder of Toddle actually responded to me. It's a no-code platform for building web applications. Thought I'd sit down, take a look at Toddle. I'm gonna to give you three reasons why I actually think it's a really, really good tool. The first one is the maturity of the tool. I was really pleasantly surprised with how clean, how fast uh, the user interface is, the kind of app ecosystem that exists there. It's Again, it's got like Spline and other apps already built for it. It's obviously got a lot of people already behind it, which is great. And it's got an AI helper built in as well. So right out of the box, it's got a hell of a lot of features and just, again, it's a joy to use. It looks very similar to Framer, just a, a bit of a dark mode theme as well. So just felt right at home. I also really like how they force you down a branches route. So it keeps everyone's changes in their own unique branch. And to publish it, you merge it all into the main branch. This is great for collaboration. This is great for security and rolling back of changes or destruction to changes should happen. Next is a really, really interesting, this thing called formulas, where it's a node-based JavaScript designer. It's so versatile and it helps you not have to write a line of JavaScript. It makes me think that Toddle could actually do a hell of a lot of stuff. Um, my mind's boggling with ideas of what could be done. So basically you start up with a set of data that you give it, maybe a variable, or you make a call to uh, third-party APIs. And the amazing thing about this is that it makes the call before the page loads. And I speak a lot about this, that other platforms, you need to make calls after the page is loaded. And then by that time, you've lost a lot of SEO and you need to use a third-party service like pre-render. Super powerful. I'm gonna dig more into it and uh, see what else I can come up with. Definitely a really, really good innovation. Some improvements I think that can be made are, even though the user interface is really clean, as I say, it's just a little bit too clean. It's not as intuitive as it could be because they've kind of favored reducing the amount of stuff on the screen just because it looks good, I guess. And because of these dual purpose menu icons, I kind of found myself getting lost all the time. It was difficult to know where I was and if I'd opened up something, how I'd close it or go back various things like that. I think the UI could just do a little bit more tweaking that will increase the complexity, but I think it would be for the better. Toggle also lacks uh, interactions. You can do a lot of actions through events like page scroll, clicks, submits, inputs, and all the rest of it. You can fire that off to third parties. I couldn't find a way to actually affect things on the page. Now, I think you might be able to toggle classes or something. So it has transitions, but it doesn't have like a full-blown interaction um, UI, which I'd love to see. I think there could be a little bit more energy put into the designer experience than the technical logical experience, which is, again, it's like, it's thriving in that. It's really good in that logical stuff, but it doesn't have things like grid. You could only do flex box or text align. So you could only have something like text align left, center or right, which kind of seems weird. Obviously you can get around that by having a div that has text align in it or putting text align on elements and things like that. You're adding some more stuff to the DOM then. I think it's not as friendly to designers. I'd also like to see a cleaner user interface for formulas. So let's say, for example, you don't want to use Airtable as a CMS. I created a variable and it basically is JSON format. Now, that's fine for someone who understands that sort of stuff. But if I'm handing this over to a client, as an example, I don't want them dipping into JSON. I think it basically just needs a lightweight CMS. So you don't have to rely on third party CMSs. And then under the hood, it, it creates what 
what are called variables, basically. So that's my review of Toddle. There's something else that isn't necessarily a benefit. I mean, it's a great feature, but I didn't know kind of how to put it into uh, another reason why I love the tool. They enable you to create web components, which is really interesting because essentially any component that you create, it exposes it that you can use it on another website. So an example they've got is that they've built a weather widget inside of Toddle that goes off, fetches data from the weather and displays it and looks really nice. And then any no code tool or any coding platform that has um, the ability to embed, you copy the code from the component, paste it into something like the embed element in Framer, and you've got a widget that you've built in Toddle that you have in Framer. And you might say you could build that in Framer, you know, and I, I agree with you, but I think the options are really there and it's just an interesting feature to include in a platform. So I don't know how that will manifest itself, but it's still a super cool feature. Anyway, I'll leave it there. Um, go give Toddle a go because it, honestly, I was super impressed. I was so surprised actually at how good the tool was. I'm definitely going to be looking more into it. It's certainly something that's uh, piqued my interest. And also, if you know any no-code tools that I should check out, then let me know down in the comments. And I'm looking for marketing websites specifically, not things like Bubble, not things like WeWeb and app builders and stuff like that. I'm looking for marketing websites. So let me know down in the comments if you've seen anything that I should check out. Like, subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, happy